is winter. The pasture is gone. Hay is expensive. And the brush looks like trash. But goats, sheep, and even cattle can winter on brush and briars without losing body condition. If you understand tannins, gut bacteria adaption, and rotation timing. Brush works when the rumen is conditioned for it. That's the difference. Some people fail because they treat brush like backup feed. It's not. This isn't goats can eat anything. They can't. This isn't turning animals loose in the woods and hoping they come out fat. They won't. Brush forage is high tannin, low sugar, and variable in protein depending on species, season, and moisture. Used correctly, it provides winter maintenance nutrition and reduces parasite load. Used incorrectly, it suppresses appetite, disrupts rumen microbiota, and pulls weight off in less than a week. The difference comes down to three factors. What they eat first, how long they stay, whether the rumen has adapted to tannins. This is not about feeding harder, it's about aligning gut biology with forage chemistry. Once you understand how rumen bacteria adapt, you stop fighting winter and start using your land at the exact time it produces the most woody biomass. The biology, tannins, protein, and gut adaptation. Brush is high in condensed tannins. Tannins bind to protein in the rumen. Tannins change which microbes can function, and until those microbes expand, intake dips. This is why animals turn into thick brush cold turkey will drop weight. Their rumen bacteria haven't shifted yet. The feed value didn't fail. The digestive system wasn't prepared. But tannins aren't the enemy. They're doing useful work. Condensed tannins cut parasite egg counts by 30 to 65 percent when the rumen is adapted. They prevent bloat by stabilizing rumen foam. They increase antibody response and gut lining thickness. Animals handle winter stress better. So the strategy is not to avoid tannins, it is to manage the adaptation period. The adaptation timeline looks like this. Day one to four. Intake drops a little. Rumen turnover slows. Animals act bored. This is the point where most people quit and say, brush isn't enough. Day five to 12. Specific ten tolerant microbes begin to multiply. Animals start selecting different plants on purpose. This is why appetite returns. Day 12 to 20. Full digestion efficiency is restored. At this point, they extract real calories, real protein, and maintain body condition reliably. The rush was fine, the rumen just wasn't trained yet. Once tannin tolerated microbes dominate, feed efficiency returns to normal. And in some herds, protein absorption efficiency actually increases 8 to 15 percent. The easiest way to manage the transition is with a step up pattern just like introducing cattle to high sugar pasture in spring. Day one to three, browse for two to four hours per day, then back to regular forage. Day four through seven, browse for a half a day duration. Days eight through 14, full day browse with a small protein supplement. This prevents the I tried brush and they lost weight failure pattern. The rumen adapts to what it sees most consistently, not to volume alone. It's not about filling them up, it's about training the microbiome to run the chemistry. What brush species actually hold weight? Not all browse is equal. Some species maintain condition, others build condition. Most are just filler. Here are the high value winter browse species, the ones that carry weight. multi floor rows. Young canes test 12 to 16% protein and animals will peel bark for energy. Greenbrier smilax. The leaves are evergreen and the roots are starchy. This is a true winter feed plant. Blackberry, bramble cane tips. Fresh growth nodes are protein positive even when the leaves are gone. Honeysuckle, stays green under snow. 14, 18% protein, highly digestible. Ragweed stubble, even dried, it provides bypass protein that reaches the small intestine. Low brush blueberry, bog bilberry buds, high digestibility winter buds, excellent for sheep and goats. Young poplar and aspen shoots. Thin lignin structure equals easy rumen breakdown. Now, the maintenance only species. These fill the gut but don't build. Mature oak brush. Tannins too high unless paired with protein rich species. Maple sapling tips. Quick energy but not enough density to maintain weight alone. Cedar pine. Rumen safe but very low protein. Use only as fiber filler to slow gut turnover, not as feed. If you don't know what you're looking at, 
Here's the rule. Anything that kept its leaves or flexible green tips into winter is protein positive. Anything that is gray, rigid, or fully barked over is maintenance only. If the plant bends, it feeds. If it snaps, it fills. Most winter browse failures come from treating filler species as if they're weight building species. Your job is to lead animals to the protein positive species first, then let them clean up the woody filler after the gut is already warm and working. Species specific strategy. Not all livestock interact with browse the same way. This is gut physiology and body mechanics. Goats. Designed for vertical forage, they eat up, not down. The highest natural tannin tolerance of any small ruminant. Condition is stable as long as rotation prevents overbite on the same stems. Best suited for brush first winter systems. Sheep. Will browse, but only if the forage is within their chest to eye line. Tannins benefit them, improves parasite resistance and gut integrity, but they cannot self regulate tannin load as well as goats. They require more frequent moves to maintain intake. Cattle can winter on brush if the density is high enough to force selective pressure. Young stock adapt faster than mature cows. Microbiome plasticity. Perform best on brush plus dormant stockpile plus free choice mineral. The mineral access is not optional. It enables protein unlocking. Horses will browse the tip growth of briars, saplings, honeysuckle, but they must maintain gut motility. Cold water reduces intake immediately. If horses are in the rotation, the water warmth determines winter success. This only works if the species and the forage height match. This is biomechanics and rumen biology, not preference. Don't judge success by gut fill. Judge it by top line and tail head fat. Goats and sheep, watch the lumbar spine edge. Cattle, watch the pin bones and tail head fat pad. If muscling stays but fat thins, increase protein by a quarter pound. If both muscle and fat drop, rotation interval is too long and plants are in post recovery stage. A rumen can stay full and the animal can still be losing. How to stage browse rotation, the real system. This is the difference between animals maintaining condition and animals sliding all winter. The system is rotation, not access. Rotation principles. High density, short duration. Force concentrate by pressure. This converts tall brush into regrowing browse architecture instead of dead skeletons. Never return to the same batch in under 45 to 90 days. If you return too soon, plants haven't rebuilt sugar reserves. The animals will lose weight simply because the plant was still in recovery. Front load the protein positive species early in winter. You are training the rumen to handle tannins and woody fiber before deep winter stress. Move before they start stripping bark. If they start rebiting the same stems, instead of moving forward, you stay too long. That's your visual signal. Bark stripping equals they have exhausted the feed value and are now burning reserves. That is the line to move, not a preference issue. Ideal rotation timing. One to three days per brush cell. Cell size. Quarter to one acre, depending on stocking class and density. Species order rotation. Goats, sheep first, cattle second, then rest. Why that order works. Goats take the tips. Highest nutrient fraction. Sheep take remaining leaf and twig. Cattle trample stems, opening sunlight to the root crown. Then regeneration improves the next cycle. The goal isn't to use up the brush. The goal is to train the land to grow edible brush architecture every single year. This is how you turn wasteland into winter feed. Supplement strategy to prevent weight loss. This is where most failures happen. Browse works if the protein bottleneck is handled. Tannins bind protein in the rumen. When browsing, animals need free choice mineral with elevated copper, cobalt, and selenium. If mineral is low in cobalt, rumen bacteria cannot synthesize vitamin B12, which makes energy drops fast. A small consistent protein booster, half pound for sheep, pound for goats, one to two pounds for cattle, depending on class and body condition. The protein isn't the meal, it's the key that unlocks the meal. Best protein balancers, alfalfa pellets, consistent, easy to dose, high bypass protein, soy hulls, highly digestible fiber, maintains rumen turnover rate, coffee hull pellets, were available 
Excellent tannin pairing feed. Distiller grains. Only if mycotoxin tested. Mold risk is high in winter storage years. Rule to memorize. Protein unlocks tannin forage. Even half pound of high bypass protein source can increase tannin forage digestion by 20 to 40 percent, which is the difference between weight loss and weight gain. No protein equals weight loss. Small protein equals weight maintenance. Correct protein equals weight gain, even on brush and briar. This is precision supplementation, not feeding hay. You're not replacing forage. You're activating the forage your land already grows. Avoid the common failures. Quick checklist that stops 90% of breakdowns. If animals refuse brush, that means microbiome transition was never completed. If weight drops after week three, too much filler species, not enough protein positive brows. If rumens stay full, but bodies look hollow, that means mineral deficiency. If the system works in December, but fails in February, rotation interval was too short for regrowth recovery. One hammer line. Winter browse fails not because the forage isn't there, but because the management intervals were wrong. Brush is not wasted land. Brush is forage that hasn't been managed yet. Once you understand the biology, you stop paying for feed the land is already producing every single year. So I want to know from you, which animals are you wintering on brush? Goats, sheep, cattle, or mixed? And what browse species do they go for first on your land? Put it in the comments, because the patterns from your land help the next person survive winter on theirs.